Okay, so I picked up one of these motors at the junkyard, and um, as you can see, it's a um, induction motor, um, single phase, and it was free, obviously. And the only problem was that um, a I had trouble figuring out how to wire it because it has all these wires. It has um, like one, two, three, four, six wires. So. It Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you how to wire the motor. First thing is look at the nameplate. The nameplate, if you don't have one or it's damaged, just scan a QR code, type in the model number, and you'll find a nameplate or some literature online. So this nameplate um, wiring diagram has two sub-diagrams. So the top diagram is how to wire the capacitor. It's kind of hard to see. And then the bottom one is how to wire the motor. So keep that in mind. So the top one says brown, brown, capacitor. So we have our six wires, our big mess right here and we have the two browns and it's going to this capacitor. So when servicing the capacitor, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a wrench or a resistor or a file and you're gonna bridge these two. You're gonna short out these two terminals. And that's because this has stored charge and if you're touching it and you bridge that gap with your fingers, um, you'll probably get shocked. And the last thing is if you don't have a capacitor or whatever, make sure you size the farads uh, this is 40 microfarads and you size the voltage rating 250 volts. Now this one this diagram is done We did that already next is the motor wiring diagram So I don't know if you could see it's hard to tell but basically it has these three things You could just look at it here. So this was our running diagram or starting these two browns Hopefully this thing focuses. We have these two browns They're killing they're done. We already did that this motor has a case ground and that case ground is basically this green um, thing that just bolted onto this terminal. And this would just go to the ground of your outlet, ground of the extension, or ground of the chassis that you're running that in. So yeah. So we covered that already with this terminal. Done. Done. Now the next wires we have are the white. So, so the, we covered this, this starting winding. So now we have to figure out this. So the first thing is this. This is the neutral or the white, and they're on all the motors, this is the one that's always the same. This was the white, the neutral. This is always gonna go to the neutral of your outlet. Now this black, red, and blue are optional. These are your speeds. So let's say I wanted low speed, instead of having the black into the hot, you're just gonna use this blue, and you could cut off this black. But since I want the highest speed, and according to this diagram, the highest speed is the black, I'm gonna use that. And the reason why is because motor horsepower is defined as, ugh, it's, it's defined as um, torque um, times RPM over 5252. Um, and obviously if you just pick the low speed winding, you're gonna be losing some of that horsepower. So if you want something low speed, just run it in high speed and run to, you know, some pulleys or whatever the hell you wanna do to step it down. So now I'm gonna be showing you how to run this thing. This thing was shorting out. Uh, that was hilarious. So, let's do that. So, ready? Um, combo. There we go. So, as you can see, it was running. It worked. Um, that sound is just the bearings are shot. I need to get new bearings. But, um, or whatever. Other than that, that's the instructional. Um, please like this video and subscribe to the channel to help the YouTube algorithm um, because YouTube algorithm has been very mean to our channel lately so um, do what you can and um, have a great day.